I'm working on a clock oscillator on approximately 4 MHz and I want to make that with a um, 74LS00N chip, this chip. I hope it's visible. And uh, in this video I want to pay some attention to the contacts from that chip to um, all kinds of other electronic components. Often to mount these chips uh, there's a socket used, this one for instance, and on the back side this is all soldered to the board. So the pins are connected to the board with solder like this and uh, it could be that on such a, a socket there is not a good a good proper connection between the pins from the chip and the electronic circuit. Um, I'm not quite sure um, whether this is always the case, but anyway, there could be here in the socket contact resistances. And you will find that problem also when you use a breadboard. Also in the breadboard you find all these small holes to which you can uh, connect your electronic components. But on all these uh, connections inside the breadboard there is a certain contact resistance. I hope my camera will zoom in. Here is uh, what I wanted to tell. The contact resistance between two points and that means that there is in fact a not certain contact from your electronic component to the board or to other um, electronic components. And another issue is you can't have always your circuit on the breadboard. So on a certain moment you want to, uh, to make it real. This is the circuit that I want to make. Found it on the internet. Show it only only for a, for a few uh, seconds because it was not tested. I have to test it all over again, and I'm going to publish that on YouTube. So this is another way to mount a chip. And here I have made soldering connections to all the pins from that. Uh, 74100 chip. Logic chip consisting of four logic ports, etc. etc. You can make, or you must make, all these connections to the uh, brass nails with a small soldering iron here. This is an example 40 watt soldering iron. With that soldering iron I've made it all. And cover the, the wooden plate first with this glue. Glue for rigid PVC. Anyway, um, with this um, method you can make a circuit in which there are no contact resistances between the electronic components. And the good thing from <coughs> this method is also that there is a very low capacitance here on all the connections. Because the wood with the glue isolates perfectly and there is enough distance here etc etc. So that was all to tell. <coughs> 